Hello and welcome back to Cox Community Connection. Well, now we're going to talk about an exciting event taking place now for the seventh year in a row. We're going to talk about the Latin Salsa Festival taking place at Fort Walton Landing down on Brook Street. Joining me to talk about that is Geraldine Martinez. Welcome. You are the festival director. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Thank welcome you for having me. Welcome to the show today. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. So let's talk about, as I said, it's the seventh year uh, of the Latin Salsa Festival. Tell us a little bit about the festival and kind of how it got started and where it is today. Definitely. Um, our festival, again, is our seventh year celebrating it. It started as a beach gathering mm. uh, in 2008. There were some visionary Puerto Ricans in the area that wanted to have something, a, get to, a big get together, other than, hey, come to my house, you know? Mm -hmm. So 500 people arrived at the Okaloosa. The, back then, it was the, the Old Ranks Beach. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so 500 people gathered there. They enjoyed it so much that the next year we took it to the festival level. We did all the city uh, situation and we um, went ahead and did it, celebrated our, our second, let's say our first festival uh, at the Ferwatum Beach Landing. So yes. the first festival, but the second year kind of a gathering. That's great that it just kind of started yeah. off as a little grassroots yeah. get together and it's turned into this great festival. Yeah. So so last year, approximately how many people did y'all have? Approximately around 3,000. Oh, and wow. we're expecting to have a little bit more than that this year because we know that a lot of Puerto Ricans move in the area mm -hmm. from North Carolina with the Army. And I, you know, they are, they're starting to know these celebrations. So we're hoping to have some more. Great. So let's talk about this year's celebration. Get if it's kind of the you know the basics, the who, what, when, where. Let's start with the the date and the time. When, when is uh, this year's event? Date is June twenty first, two thousand fourteen. Okay, and is it just the Saturday? One, it is just one, one day. day? Okay. One day. What time does it start? It starts from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay. Some people from uh, they are accustomed to get a little bit later, but <laughs> warning, there go, there's going to be traffic on Highway 98. Absolutely. People are trying to get to Destin and to our festival, and they're going to be stuck and they're going to get there late. They're going to miss the food, half of the entertainment. So make sure you are there at 10 with your umbrella, your chair, your, you know, you just get comfortable. Absolutely. Arrive early and the locals know the back ways there. <laughs> yes. To, to avoid Highway 98 <laughs> that's and right. get downtown. So that's good advice there. So let's talk about some of that food and some of the uh, some of the music and some of the acts that you have. Yeah. Uh, first, obviously, you just mentioned the food. So you do have food vendors on site. Or what are some other things taking place Definitely. down at the uh, festival? When you talk about his culture in general first thing that comes to my mind at least is food and music of course when you talk about Puerto Rico three things that come to my mind is food music and beach that's what it is so we chose the park because it has that mm -hmm. tropical feeling you know and we have to keep it free for the family we have to keep it alcohol free but we don't care. We do what we care, what we can to have volunteers, to have sponsors, so we can keep it free for the family and to have a great day. Sp uh, people come, we, we, this year we're having our third um, vendor coming from Miami to sell food, uh, Latin food. Mm -hmm. So our, our festival is taking a name little by little and we're happy about it, you know? Um, food is very important. Again, if don't arrive, arrive late because you'll miss it. Uh, we don't have only visitors from Puerto Rico, visitors that are from Puerto Rican descent. I would say 70% are gonna be Puerto Ricans there, mm -hmm. but the rest are gonna be international sure. people that either have traveled to Puerto Rico or have a family member or a friend that's Puerto Rican, and they have tried their their food, they have heard their music, they know how to dance salsa, because some of these people know how to dance salsa better than I do. <laughs> and um, definitely, uh, it's a great time. It's a great time. And, and so you mentioned that it is uh, free and family friendly. Yes. So a, a great opportunity to, like I said, on a Saturday, bring the whole family down there, be along the water uh, in that yeah. atmosphere and enjoy the great music. And the, uh, and the great activities. Well, let's talk about your organization a little bit too. We're, we've got about a minute and a half or so left. Uh, and I'll, I'll try not to pronounce it here because I know I'll butcher it, but <laughs> you're part of the Northwest you can Florida. Try. If I try, we'll have to edit it out. <laughs> Northwest Florida Boricuas Ausentes. Okay, again, what, do you, what is that organization? Yes, again, uh, it's a Puerto Rican mostly uh, organization. But we, what, our mission is to make friends with Puerto Ricans and everyone other ethnicities around and not only make friends but to take a message that there's other there's diversity in the world 
and that it's great to learn it. And once you learn it, you want to participate uh, of that diversity. Great. Okay. Give us one more time. We've got less than a minute. One more time, the date, time, and location of the event. And if there's a Facebook page, website, anything like that, that people can go to for more information. Ju Saturday, June 21st, 2014, 10 to 7 at the Fort Walton Beach Landing. You can visit boricuasausentes.org. That's going to be www.b-o-r-i-c-u-a-s. A-U-S-E-N-T-E-S dot org. And the Facebook page, you can only always search Northwest Florida Boricuas Ausentes, okay. and we'll be there. <laughs> and we have both of those on the bottom of the screen, yes. so people can see Good. that. Uh, That's better. People can log on from there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. <laughs> when we come back, we'll be in Pensacola to talk about several events going on in Escambia County. Stay with us.